kiến trúc uh, cổ của La Mã. có giống Việt Nam chèo qua hay quá chở du khách ra đi
quanh nước xanh tàu nó vàng máy ngói không nhà máy ngói không thất nhiên đấy thất nhiên của bây giờ tôi thất đi ra xanh lè luôn ha Thảo ý này là có rất nhiều cái cảnh đẹp và cổ kính cổ xưa đó nổi tiếng thế giới luôn
quá trời luôn ha thẳng băng luôn làm nông nghiệp như vậy nó mới rẻ được chứ còn mà nhân công mà, mà phải mà khiên vác là làm, làm sao mà làm cho nổi người ta cho máy nó lựa củ lớn ra lớn mà nhỏ ra nhỏ tức là nó chạy qua bên một cái đường gây có cái lỗ bự cái lỗ nhỏ trước rồi thì cái nhỏ nó rớt thì cái lỗ bự nó, cái bự nó còn nằm đó nó chạy đến cuối cùng thì cái lớn nhất là cái nó nằm ở trên Mình đã sạch sẽ hết luôn Người ta chỉ nhặt mấy cái bị hư đó ra thôi Còn cái tốt thì nó sẽ vô thùng Đem đi bán đây là kỹ thuật trồng trồng nho mà người ta cho nước nhỏ giọt cho nó không có tốn nước đó là kỹ thuật của do thái rồi người, cái này là họ hái bằng tay họ hái bằng đêm có nhiều nơi thì người ta là thu hoạch bằng máy người ta không cần ngày nó dập là tại vì người ta làm rượu còn cái này là nó thu hoạch cái kiểu này là chắc cũng để làm rượu quá nho này không phải là nho mà để ăn tươi quá trời luôn rồi nó đưa ra đây ép rồi Đúng rồi cái này là để làm rượu luôn
làm rượu hoặc là người ta ép là người ta lấy cái nước cái nước ép á, rồi người ta vô chai người ta bán vô siêu thị cũng có để coi coi nó 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 không hình như là nó lấy nó làm rượu rồi nó vô thùng hết rồi vậy là nó để nó làm rượu rồi sunshine morning we have a full day of sightseeing and doing things and eating in Rome so we're gonna go have breakfast real fast and then we're gonna head out Ying and I are the first ones to breakfast this morning bây giờ mời các bạn theo chân của anh mặt quen để trải nghiệm ẩm thực của ý nhé An omelet, some salmon, some salami, some bacon, and then some vegetables. And these are little, little pickled shallots, I think. No, I have. And this is some wonderful-looking bacon. Check out that. 
the streakiness of it. We're getting ready to leave in a few minutes for a full day of sightseeing in Rome, but let me just quickly show you on this map sort of the rough plan. We are staying up here near to Spagna. We're going to take the metro down to Colosseo. We're going to go to the Colosseum, we're going to go to the Palatino Hill, and we're going to go to the Forum. Probably try to eat around here, go to the Pantheon, go to some other sites around here, walk around here, walk around here, and then maybe go back down here to visit San Giovanni. We'll see how our time comes. Anh sẽ đi tham quan bốn năm chỗ rồi ăn luôn ở đó. We took the metro from Spagna to Colosseo station and immediately right at the exit of the metro we are at the base of the Colosseum. We are here a little bit early before they open, so we're just going to walk around for a little bit. And I have pre-bought the ticket online and then printed it off, so I hope we can just enter as soon as they open. It was really good, actually, that we printed off our tickets, because then after we got through security, we passed the whole line, just scanned in, it has a little barcode, and we are into the Colosseum now. We have decided to climb the stairs to the top first to get a view, an overall view from the top. This is an awesome view. Oh, you can see everything here. At one point, this Colosseum could hold up to 80,000 spectators. And it was covered in a flooring, so now you can see sort of some of the Chỗ này nó chứa được 80, area. But this is where the gladiators would fight, ngồi. and also this is where they would reenact battles, and it could even be flooded của, so that they could reenact naval battles and depictions as well. Hát của cái you have seen so many photos and you've seen movies that depict the Colosseum, and so just imagining the battles and the, the events and the things that took place within the Colosseum as you're walking through here, that's what, that really, that's what really comes to mind when I'm walking through. We are on our way next to the Forum. Hi, right across uh, the plaza from the Colosseum uh. is the Roman Forum. And this was the heart, the very center of ancient Rome. And so many of the most important buildings, and this is the area where Rome thrived. I think one of the things that's really making it amazing to visit right now is how quiet and peaceful it is. Right behind me is what remains of the Temple of Saturn, which is one of the oldest temples in Rome. It dates back to the 6th century BC, but the remains of what you can see right now date back to 42 BC. Rồi, uh, thế kỷ uh, thứ 6 trước water. Công Nguyên. <sighs> Tất cả những cái này bây giờ là được UNESCO công nhận là it's just a short walk from the central area up to the top of Palatine Hill. And from up here, there is the Imperial Palace. You can get a view of the Forum as well as Circus Maximus on the other side. And now I'm overlooking Circus Maximus, which is a giant open air horse chariot racing stadium. And also <coughs> they held public events here and it could accommodate up to 150,000 people that would watch events. Hôm nay uh, ta lợi dụng trong cái uh, exploring around the forum cái dịp mà anh mặc qua nè uh, đi uh, so thực nghiệm cái uh, ẩm thực của Ý thì ảnh đi du lịch rồi ta thì uh, lợi dụng cái này để người ta mình sẽ xem luôn uh, những cái uh, phong cảnh Quý luôn nha. This is a restaurant that serves. Actually, I'm a little bit overwhelmed by the menu. There are so many things to order. Three, One. 
and also I'm uh, Thường khi thì ảnh đi những cái quốc gia mà nó không có những cái gì đặc biệt á thì ảnh chỉ đi ăn thôi chứ ảnh không có đi xem mà những cái vùng mà có những cái gì mà đặc biệt thì ảnh vừa đi tham quan mà vừa đi ăn luôn And this is this is a mixture of different vegetables which appear to be slightly battered and deep fried. This is a red chili. There's some eggplant, some onions, maybe potatoes. I'll start with a piece of eggplant. Oh, it's này là toàn là rau củ không nha. Không có thịt ở trong này. Phải chiên hết luôn. It's a really soft, like fully tender pepper. A little bit sweet and sour. Maybe it's the tomato sauce, or there's some tomatoes on there that make it really sour and tart. Yeah, that is equally as creamy. That eggplant, and it, it's kind of like a almost like a crumb crust that's fried and crispy and kind of almost gummy. Cà tím, rồi trái ô liu, này kia. Còn cái này là nuôi Nuôi nó xào ra cái gì đây The main dishes have arrived and I got we ordered Ying and I ordered two different dishes to split This one is tripa which is tripe and this is a I think a Roman style preparation very heavy tomato sauce and then he sprinkled on some cheese on top and I think there's I think it's all I don't think there's any pasta in here I think it's just all tripe Oh, my kind of a dish, just just sauce and shrimp. Okay, I'm just gonna taste this first. Như là cái khăn khăn lông. That shrimp is nice and soft. Khăn lông của bò hay sao? And also, okay, bits of it are a little bit chewy, but it's wonderful. And then that's kind of a a little bit of a tart tomato sauce, but not too salty at all. That's awesome. And then this is a type of pasta. Uh, this one is called matriciana. And this is a and also a, a very common pasta dish. Tomato based. And then I'm sure you can see there are little cubes of cured pork belly. And then wrapped up in this pasta. And let me, let me stab some. Mm. Oh. Sao What I love about that. Cái gì của heo đó không biết. So Chỉ là cái nước sốt thôi. That little, that little pork belly just gives it so much flavor along with the tart tomato flavor. Này có uh, sốt cà chua trong đó nữa. Cái đồ ăn này thấy là chưa có cái gì là đặc biệt lắm. Hình như ảnh ăn không có gì hết mà thấy hai mươi mấy đồ. Very soft, but slightly chewy at the same time, and I know that sounds kind of ironic. But as soon as you have that contrast, that contrast. One of the reasons we ate here is because it's right on the route of where we're going to be going. We're going to be going visiting some churches next, and it's just kind of on the backside of the Colosseum. We are walking towards the Colosseum. We're going to be going 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 towards the Colosseum. But on the way, we were going to stop at the Basilica de San Clemente, but unfortunately, they have just now closed for lunch. We just missed it, and they won't open up for another couple of hours, so I don't think we're going to hang around. We're on our way now to San Giovanni. The Basilica de San Giovanni was commissioned by Constantine in 324, and it is significantly important in Rome because it was the first Christian basilica in all of the city. Thì ta sẽ thấy được rất nhiều những cái cổ kiến trúc cổ mà nổi tiếng ở thế giới luôn.
and then also the doors are just gigantic. It almost takes my breath away. Yeah, cái chạm khác ở trên cạnh nhà với lại dưới tường. Marble statues phải nói là quá công phu. Of the twelve apostles, and then the roof is golden with so much detail. You just walk in here, and literally this sense of like peace and quiet and calm just overwhelms you. And I'm just gonna stop talking right now and just listen to the peace. That was just amazing to walk inside the basilica. It's so big, and. Yeah, just such a quiet, calm, peaceful place. We just walked across the street from the Basilica de San Giovanni, and right here there's another chapel, and inside there is supposedly a staircase that Jesus walked up at Pontius Pilate's palace in Jerusalem, and then the staircase was brought to Rome. And so you cannot walk up the staircase on your feet, but you have to walk up on your knees. And with every step that you take on your knees, you also say a prayer until you reach the top of Rome, the staircase. Rome, tức là cái thành phố uh, uh, the staircase on our knees. thủ đô của Ý nha. You did a really good job, but I was definitely in pain the entire time. Bà xã của anh đó. <laughs> I actually wasn't expecting it to hurt that much. No. I think that took us about 15 minutes, and you just kind of creep up the steps very slowly, but it was well worth it. We walked back to the metro. We're going to take it a couple of stops to our next place. We got off the metro at Barberini Station, and we are going to walk towards the Trevi Fountain. Hello. Can I have the three cones? Chocolate chip. Chocolate chip. Anything else? Anything else here? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I don't know if anybody ever comes to Rome without having some gelato. There are many places to get gelato around this area. We came to a place called Gelateria Valentino. We ordered half chocolate chip and half coconut. Oh yeah, that is pretty awesome. Really, really milky. Coconut is really good too. Has a, again a really really milky milky cream. Like and, even even and then in the coconut you can have the, you feel the little pieces of dried coconut as well. Kem nó lấy dừa nó xay ra nó làm. And that gelato should lead us to what is one of the most iconic sites in all of Rome. I'm gonna look over to my right hand side. And there it is. Thấy bên cái xứ này mà vấn đề mà tranh tượng là nổi tiếng luôn. Cỡ nào nó cũng làm tượng người này người kia đồ ông này ông nọ. Nó gắn lên khắp nhà hết trơn. Um, I mentioned that I was coming to Rome and they really helped me put together a good itinerary of what to do and see and also eat in Rome. So we're going to meet them for dinner tonight. I am predicting a very good dinner. We just had to eat banana pizza. And this is another famous plaza in Rome. There are the Spanish steps over here, but it looks like they are doing some renovation on them right now, so I don't think they're open. Uh, but then it's a nice plaza to just walk around and people watch as well. We 
are walking on our way to dinner now, and we have just stopped by the Pantheon. But we're going to come back tomorrow to go inside and to explore more. We're just kind of passing through, but it is just a breathtaking sight. Cái giá đó là giá của tiền euro không ấy nha Tiền euro là nó to hơn tiền đô la Nó bằng gửi tiền đô la Cái này là kêu là món Mỹ Ý đó Người ta thường hay nói ăn Mỹ Ý, Mỹ Ý thôi đây là, 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 là cái cộng mì đây nè Ở Sài Gòn là Mỹ Ý mà xào trộn với thịt bò đó để đổ uh, nước sốt cà chua đó Thế là, là, là cái này đây Mà ở đây nó làm là không có thấy nước uh, sốt cà chua gì hết trơn Không biết nó đổ gì trong đó Phô mai à Phô mai mà cục bự luôn ha Ồ, oh, nó, nó lấy cái phô mai nó bào Nó lấy phô mai rồi nó lấy cái bào nó bào Mình muốn ăn như mình bào nhiêu cái này thấy mì không thịt là có hai và cục nhỏ xíu à Manja. 
really good too. You can taste them. Yeah, of course you can taste the anchovies. A little bit of cheese in there, and then also, I think some kind of parsley in there as well. That tastes like kind of refreshing. <coughs> Adding a little extra pepper. <laughs> All of the pastas are just unbelievably good. The, I really, I think I really love that that one with the sheep's uh, cheese and pepper. That combination just complements each other so well. But the carbonara is also impressively good. It's so rich and so like, yeah, it's just incredibly rich and creamy and and just packed with flavor. Those butter, the eggs, the the pink cheek, and I definitely need to work on my pasta twirl. <laughs> Cái món này không có gì đặc biệt mà sao nó làm mất thời giờ quá À nó có cái khác rồi We have a bunch of different dishes. We got some liver, which is a Venice style preparation, which is then fried and then combined with tomatoes and onions and pine fruit. And then this is another interesting vegetable dish that we got here, which is um, chicory leaves, which I don't think I've ever had before. Grab it, which looks like it's, I think it's been braised in some wine and also um, rosemary. And then the final meat dish I think we got is veal, thin strips of veal with prosciutto, prosciutto, with prosciutto on top, and then with uh, fresh sage on top, butter and white wine sauce. I'm gonna start with the liver, liver and onions. Cái đứa giang heo xào với củ hành. I love liver, and well, it's really nice because you can actually taste the white wine. In there, and I also got a piece of sage in that bite as well. Oh, that sage is wonderful. Okay, on to the rabbit, and it looks like I got the oh, còn cái đó là thỏ đó. portion. Cái cục bự đó là cái thịt thỏ. Let me flip him over. You can, oh, it's okay to grab it? Okay. I think this may be easier to grab it with my, my fingers. It's amazing. It's so tender. It's almost like dark meat chicken. On to the beef now with the tomatoes. Wow. Yeah. That is a stunner. That beef, again, it's it's fall apart tender, but it's sort of like it's sort of like flakes in your mouth, and then that's like a a sweet but like very very fragrant tomato and onion topping, and I'm trying to distinguish the the spices in there, the herbs, and there's definitely the pine the pine cone fruit in there, although I'm not sure if I can decipher that on its own. But also there's a little bit, Antonio was telling me that there's also a little bit of fennel in there as well. That's an amazingly, an amazing combination. That's delicious. Veal. Let me take out a toothpick and you can see that piece of sage on top. That's awesome as well. The sage on there is what gives it its twist of flavor. This is the vegetable, the chicory, the chicory leaves. And we're eating this sort of at the end of the meal. <coughs> mm. Just a hint of a bitter taste to it. Really good. And you can taste that it's fried with garlic as well. I have a piece of bread. In Italian, it's called scarpetta. And what you do is you take a piece of bread, I'll go over here to this plate, and you just mop up all of that juice and oil and flavor uh, that dish. And that, oh, and some rosemary as well. You mop that all up, you get that all in there, 
and you clean the plate that way. That will make any type of bread taste good. We finished off all of the food, and we decided it would be a great idea to order one more dish. And not only a, not only any one dish, but a baby lamb dish. Bây giờ là thịt trừu nha. Thịt trừu nó hàm nữa. Thịt trừu mà không có biết làm là nó sẽ hôi. Nó hôi cỏ lắm. Rosemary. Okay. Nice. Okay. 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 À, cái này là nó có mấy cái vị thuốc ở trong đó. Mấy cái vị mà cây cỏ mà làm thuốc á, nó ăn cái đó 11 đô mấy hả? Thank you to Valentina and Antonio. It was fun to hang out with them. I'm going to end the video for today right now. Thank you all very much for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below. And also make sure you subscribe if you're not already subscribed for lots more food videos. And I will see you on the next video. Thank cái, you uh, for watching. Cái này là cái see hết you đó. for the Anh next day làm một cái chiến khác. Or some of that pepper. <coughs> và ta tiếp tục với anh mặc quen trong cái clip thứ hai của ảnh nha cũng ở ý luôn ở thành phố rome good morning everyone it's mark means with migrationology.com in rome italy we are walking actually right now through the piazza di spagna and on our way to the pantheon this morning and we're gonna walk around that area for the morning and just explore. And then later on, early this afternoon, I already booked tickets online for 1 p.m. and we are gonna visit the Vatican City. Lát nữa trưa một giờ đó ảnh sẽ đi vô thành phố Vatican là cái uh, cái như là cái uh, but it's amazing. Cái chỗ mà thành phố cái chỗ mà Đức Giáo Hoàng ở đó. Tức là cái cái như là tổng tư lệnh của Thiên Chúa Giáo. Của đạo Công giáo. A couple meters from the Pantheon and it's a pretty fast affair. You don't you can't really hang out and drink coffee, but what you do is you stand in there, you order a coffee and just at the bar you drink your coffee. So it's going to be pretty fast and furious. I'm going to give Ying the camera. Because Ying doesn't drink coffee, so follow me in there, and then I'm going to have a cup of coffee. Cool Ying. Yeah. So what you do is you pay at the cashier, and then you get a receipt, and then you come over to the coffee bar, and then they take your order. They make your order. Thank <laughs> you. 
Kandung kafe, om bis lainnya lah lain now. Oh, that's an awesome cup of coffee. Oh yeah, that is fantastic. Trả tiền trước rồi lấy cái giấy trả tiền mới đem lại đây. Người ta sẽ đưa cho mình ly cà phê. Một đô la, cái đó tức là nó có chấm kín euro. Incredible to think that it was built over 2,000 years ago, and it's such a grand structure. The Corinthian columns in the front, and then the circular pantheon, and also what I was reading is that it is a concrete dome on the top, and it's unreinforced. And even today, 2,000 years after it was built, it remains the largest unreinforced concrete dome in the world. just the entire circular structure and then the dome which is covering it plus the opening right at the very top Thấy uh, mấy ngàn năm rồi mà cái cái nhà cái 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 kiến trúc của nó vẫn còn nó là cứng chắc mà đẹp đẽ thôi. Phải nói là người ta làm kiên cố. Đây là cái xứ của Chúa Giêsu mà à, đi tới đầu thấy thánh giá tượng Chúa. Since we happen to be in this area, there's a very famous gelato shop that served that has 150 different flavors. Ying, are you ready for some gelato? Can I have one of this? No. This one. Is la... And Kem. the one pistachio. Oh, mà kem gì mà đã có quá trời thứ luôn. Cầu hai ba chục thứ luôn. Rồi mày. Yin got half. I think this is mixed berry and then pistachio. And this is a pretty good size. This is the medium size. Wow. Okay, that is pretty awesome. All oh, the flavor is so well pronounced. And then again, it's so creamy. I think I probably have some on my chin. Okay, next up for that berry. That is amazing, and there's so much real, you can taste so much real berries in there. The little raspberry seeds, and the, the creaminess, and the, the sweetness, and the, yeah, that is some highly good gelato. Ying especially loved that gelato. <laughs> Was it the best gelato, Ying? Yes. There is another famous coffee shop on the opposite side of the Pantheon. That's where we are heading right now. I could use another shot of espresso. Same drill. Anh là đi tới cái trạm bán cà phê kế tiếp. Anh sẽ mua cà phê uống. That's the process. Wow. There is no milk in here, but it, it's almost like foamy, like like ice cream foamy. Wow, that's 
that is impressively awesome. Cà phê mà nó đánh lên sao mà nó bọt không à? I managed to slurp most of that foam, but you gotta use your spoon to grab the rest of it. You don't want any of it to be left behind. All right, that was awesome. That was one of those beverages that I wish I had on IV. I just want a constant stream of that espresso in my system. That is an awesome one-seater car. We wound our way through some of the alleys and we finally found it. Yeah. Gonna have some pizza. That side? Bây giờ là ảnh ăn pizza nè. À, pizza để làm ngộ quá ha. And, and do you have another one with more toppings or not ready yet? Nó làm một miếng dài luôn rồi nó chặt. This place makes pizza but it's also a full bakery and so you walk in here and the aroma of baking bread just just fills your nostrils and we're here a little bit early so not all of the different topping pizzas are ready yet but uh, he said that we should just start with this pizza first and wait to see a few minutes for some of the flavors that might come out of the oven the tomato sauce that cheese Thấy có vẻ ngon quá anh cái cái đế của nó mỏng mà nó giòn phải không? Nó thấy nó giòn phải không? Cái pizza mà ăn mà cái đế dày á là đã ngán chết luôn. Oh. Ảnh uh, làm một cái miếng dài đó ở trên đó thì ảnh phủ hay là, là hai ba thứ luôn. Ờ, anh bán anh cần ký nha. Anh ăn xong rồi anh mua anh sách theo để anh đi vòng vòng ảnh. Anh đi tham quan thắng cảnh là anh ăn nữa. I'm not sure what that is. Không, cái uh, uh, cái uh, pizza uh, này á, uh, cái nền uh, bột của nó đó, phải nói là mỏng mà giòn. Ngon đấy.
We have just walked into Campo de Fiori, and this is another square, another many, many of the plazas in Rome. And this one is famous because it is home to a fresh market. There are lots of fruits and vegetables, spices. You can buy lots and lots of things here. And we are just actually kind of just passing through though. We made it to the Tiber River. We are crossing the bridge now. We're getting very close to the Vatican City. Bây giờ anh sẽ đi vô trong cái thành phố của Vatican. The Vatican City is a city state, a Walden city state within Rome, and it is of course ruled by the head bishop of Rome who is the pope. And so we are walking with the front main entrance view but vô cái chỗ mà của Đức Giáo Hoàng làm việc on the other side where all of the people are walking so that's where we're going to go. Okay, that was a little bit of a walk from the entrance to the to the Vatican Museum entrance. You have to go around the wall, but we are approaching now. We got through security and then we transferred our e-ticket into the little tickets. It kind of felt like immigration. <coughs> this museum is huge. It's one of the largest art đi vô cái thành phố Vatican rồi nó giống như là đi vô một cái nước khác mặc dù là nó nằm ở trong cái khuôn cái khuôn khổ đất nước Ý nhưng mà nó giống như là nó là một cái thành phố mà đất nước riêng à, nó không có chịu những cái sự uh, luật pháp mà giống y như phía bên ngoài của Ý It looks actually very similar to the Pantheon, but it's much smaller. There is a uh, hole in the middle of the dome. And ra cái cạc của anh đi đến đó nó nó sẽ đổi ra một cái cạc khác giống cũng như là một cái visa vậy đó. Để anh được phép đi vô trong cái thành phố của Vatican. đây là cái viện bảo tàng sculptures on both sides as well as different exhibits and galleries but if you look up you will notice paintings and decorations and it's just a, a museum within a museum of a museum we have entered into oh, thấy the ở trên cái trần nhà nó công phu quá Maps, chạm chỗ khác ở trên đó <cười> cái này là nó làm hồi ngàn một ngàn năm trăm mấy walking through the Raphael rooms which are a series of four rooms which contain just incredibly beautiful and detailed frescoes which were painted by Raphael. One of the most famous paintings frescoes in the Raphael rooms is the School of Athens which is right behind me and it is it was painted in 1509 and it's within the room of the signature. We are about to enter the place that nobody misses when they visit the museums at the Vatican. I think that's the only place in the whole museum where you're not allowed to video or photo. Uh, but it is a, it's not a huge chapel, but the ceiling is extremely high and it can fit about 2,000 people from what I read. But you look up at the walls and on the ceiling and It is just all of those paintings by Michelangelo, the frescoes that you have seen in photos. It's incredible to gaze into those paintings and those frescoes. And what struck me is how high the ceiling is. And then just looking up and you can just almost fall into a, a dream looking at the Sistine Chapel ceiling. We are on our way out of the museum and going down the famous spiral staircase now. It took us a little over two hours, and I think we went pretty fast. So you could definitely spend a lot more time in there if you uh, took more time to look at all of the artwork and the galleries and the paintings. 
we are now walking over to St. Peter's Basilica. And one of the things I wanted to do is to climb the dome, Michelangelo's famous dome on the top of St. Peter's Basilica. And so we got in the line for the dome. And I think it is a separate line from entering into the actual main basilica. So that security point ended up getting us into the basilica as well. I thought it was just going to get us into the dome. So we're going to enter the basilica first and then go to the dome afterwards. It is massive in here and I can see the dome up ahead and I can see the rays of sunshine shining down through the dome. St. Peter's Basilica was designed by Bramante and also Michelangelo and it is one of the most impressive sites in the Vatican City especially notable for its dome. I'm gonna go climb the dome now and hopefully get some great views of Rome from here. And the amount of marble and the carvings and sculptures that it took to create this facility. I just got my ticket. I am going to climb the stairs to the top of the dome. It is a total of 551 steps to the top. So here we go. Here we start. As busy and busy as the facility is, is, I'm going to be very quiet. It's completely quiet. There's nobody else here. And I should also mention that you can take the elevator at least part of the way up and then just climb a little bit. That just took a few minutes and I've come to some like outdoor courtyard level. I didn't even know we were gonna have a view from the top of the dome, but on the inside of the dome. Wow, this is awesome. You can see below. Made it to that first level and those were some amazing views. Of the, of the church from above, but now climbing the circular staircase to the cupola. It's a pretty tight staircase. I just made it to the top of the dome. That took exactly 13 minutes, and there were some amazing spiral staircases. đi lên trên trên cái nóc cao rồi đó. From the top here you have a full 360 view of Rome so you can walk around the dome. You can see the edges of the dome going downwards, sloping downwards and of course you have a whole view, an entire view of St. Peter's Square from above. The 360 views of Rome were amazing, and also just the hike up the stairs to get to the top was also a lot of fun. I would highly recommend dishing out the extra money when you come to St. Peter's. We are walking to the bus stop and going to try to take the bus to the Jewish ghetto for dinner tonight. Oh, and how convenient, the bus that we need to take is pulled up right as we got here. Bây giờ anh lên xe bớt ảnh đi ra ngoài anh ăn And it should be uh, just a short walk from here to the Jewish area I don't know too much about the influence and the history of Jews in Rome but I do know that uh, there has been a Jewish influence for many, many years, and this Jewish area of Rome was officially established back in 1555. And there were a number of different Jewish in this area. I chose to come to one called Nona Beta. Thank you. Thank you. One of the most famous Roman Jewish dishes, or it's kind of like a appetizer starter, is a fried artichoke. They are deep fried, so they're crispy. Oh, and you can see that little bit of salt on cái top. Cái đó là cái this bông artichoke oh, oh. mà nó chiên. Oh. And you can, you can actually see how the inside is going to be nice and probably soft, while the outside <cười> is going to be crispy and crunchy. Cái, uh, oh, cái bông artichoke nó chiên giòn luôn. Together. Oh yeah, the inside is creamy like cooked eggplant, and then 
those outer leaves are crispy and a little bit chewy and then it's just nicely salted actually those outer leaves are the artichoke <coughs> Cái món này hay ấy nha. Cái món này à, ăn cắp rồi mình uh, really chewy, cũng chiên thử như vậy ăn nó coi nó ra sao. Cái món này là cái xứ Sài Gòn là chưa thấy. Those crispy bits, and then just like any artichoke, still bite off all of that gooey, soft bit from the bottom. And you can eat the crispy piece of the artichoke as well, but definitely don't make the mistake like I did and take like half that artichoke in one bite, or you won't be able to chew it, that's for sure. And also, to begin with, we got a type of pasta. And this is, um, I think it's the, the Nona Beta special pasta. Let me try to work on my pasta twirling skills. Này, uh, mì ý mà, mì ý But yeah. I think it's a, a type of minced meat sauce. Mm. Yeah, that's really nice too. That is mostly tomato based, but it has a little bit of a creaminess to it. So I'm not sure what else is in there. Uh, Really good with those noodles and then just with little bits of minced meat. Let me take one more bite of this. This is excellent. I think I'm getting better at my pasta twirl. But I'm definitely, I definitely need a lot of work. Main course has arrived. This is codfish prepared Nona Beta style. And it comes with pistachios and pine nuts. And I'm not sure what all the sauce is but this looks delicious. And it came bubbling over. Oh, is that, that's a, looks like a very rich sauce. This should still be very hot. Cái này cá. As moments ago, it was bubbling. Cá mà đã nấu như cái gì đó. Yeah, that tastes very buttery. And it has a nutty flavor from the pine nuts. Cá, cá nó nấu bơ. And the pistachio. Hot. And I love those edges of the fish. They're slightly caramelized within this pan as well. I saw oxtail on the menu and I have a Còn soft spot in my heart for oxtail. Đuôi con bò so I had to. This is a nice chunk of oxtail submerged in a tomato sauce bowl. Oh yes. Đuôi Let bò me hàm show với, uh, you why I love oxtail so much. It is uh, this. Cả. <laughs> the meat just falls. It just pulls off. Look at that. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm gonna add that to it. Mix that with the tomato sauce. It's such a wonderful piece. The meat is so flavorful and so soft and tender. And then that's a very mild tomato sauce. It's not really tart, not really sweet. Just, it's very pleasant. It just goes well with that tender beef. That's really good. That was a wonderful meal. The artichoke was delicious, but oh, the pasta was also really good. But I really loved that oxtail. That was the highlight of the meal for me. Nice to sit outside and just relax after a. It was a good day, but a very tiring day. With lots and of make a bong la, and um, yeah, it turned out to be a great day. Hey. I'm gonna end the video for today right now. Thank you all very much for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you leave a comment below and also make sure you subscribe for lots more food and travel videos. And I will see you on the next video. Thank you again for watching.